Okay, so we're recording. Good morning, guys, or should I say afternoon, actually, because it is afternoon in the Gambia. And um, yeah, I just thought I would just record a little something, oh, right, like, recording our experience in the Gambia, and honestly, it's beautiful. I love this place so, so much. Um, and yeah, just being here while pregnant is really, really cool as well. It's very, very different. But <clears throat> it's really, really cool. And I'm going to make a little video. I'll probably make it, I don't know, like a few days before we go. I'm not too sure. Or um, when I get back to London. Um, so yeah, baby K is doing good. Growing and moving every single day. Um, <laughs> which I'm of course very happy about. And I think he is liking the food here. I think he's really, really loving the food. <laughs> um so yeah but honestly like we've had such a good day this morning actually like just a good day of um positivity so i'm just sitting a little bit a good day of positivity and um yeah it's, it's just been good and just feeling like anything is possible um and yeah just having the confidence to just do anything literally i just believe in believe in um and that's something i've definitely had to tell myself just the last few months i would say just being like you can do anything you know and i think that's a message i just want to be able to share with a lot of people because i know we're all struggling in some sort of way but just understand that you can do it you are highly blessed and favored um so yeah and just focus on yourself focus on your goddamn self you know focus on what you want and how you're gonna get it as well and just really work hard um, you do have to sacrifice a lot of things if you want things in life but just not giving up especially if things don't go your way because things sometimes won't go your way but just be like you can do it um, so yeah so yeah um, where we're staying is called the tranquil star it is owned and run by an amazing beautiful couple called ron and christine and honestly it's it's been amazing staying here um they're on airbnb so if you come to the gambia and you want somewhere to stay um really really affordable as well amazing food here great location beautiful place it's 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 amazing um and our room is just so spacious like we have a balcony it's just like boom <laughs> we got a fan we got a wardrobe we got the bathroom that's over there but um yeah i probably won't film that much because we've got our stuff all over the place um or i probably will i'll just see maybe a bit later but the room's actually clean so this is probably the best time to see it but i'm just so relaxed and chilled but as i said you can look on airbnb and it's it's a beautiful place um so yeah so today i'm not yeah today i think we'll look at some shops today and just chill probably go to the beach this evening actually um so yeah so the gambia i'm loving it so much so so much so yeah have a blessed day guys peace some attire Clinton's down there <laughs> Look at the woods. Wow. A tire. It looks like beer, but it's not. <laughs> and they do this is like a community kind of thing where they sit together and they drink a tire. Wow. Hard work doing that, you know, muscle, hands. I'm moving back here. Me and my lovely family. We're gonna have a plan. We're doing it.
Hi. We're going to trip today. Hey YouTube family, it's Kenton here again. Yes, we are still in the Gambia and it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely loving this place and we cannot wait to come back and to stay for good. Hey guys, so I am filming right now because <clears throat> oh, I don't even know if you guys can see me properly. I should really have the tripod, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna hold the camera. So today is our last day in the Gambia, and I feel really, really sad. I honestly, this is the best trip that I've ever, ever been on in my whole entire life. I've been to a lot of places, and I need to look there, not there. <laughs> and it's like, it's really surreal that I've actually come to Africa after like 25 years. I turned 25 in Africa, Kenton turned 24. And we're here with our baby, our baby boy. And, you know, just we're just really, really just happy and excited to make this home. And I'm literally speaking this into existence because it's gonna happen and this trip has really made me realize the lies and a lot of things that have happened in the west and we've been told and you know stereotypes and things that we have in our minds about africa and africa is literally beautiful like as i said okay, I a bit. as i said i've never been to any continent in africa and it is Gambia is amazing. I'm, it's just a it's just a beautiful place, and I'm just so happy we made a choice to come here. Um, you know, I had a lot of fear coming here, not not just because of being pregnant, but just because of other things and just over stressing. Um, and I'm not saying that wherever you live in the world, you won't feel stress. Of course, you will, because there's gonna be a lot of barriers. But I feel that here. Okay, um, I feel like hair is home and hair just feels so so right. So, literally, speaking it into existence, um, and just waking up, it's very tired, guys. But yeah, I am so so happy about this trip, and I'm just outside. Um, we leave this evening late, late. We have a late flight. I'm like looking forward to it, but I'm not. It's so late, but yeah, just literally going back to England to have my baby. <laughs> literally, um, and I'm going back to England with a different mindset as well, of just like not being fearful and not stressing. Because me personally, I've definitely been through it the last couple of years and months, etc. And just worrying about anything little. Um, and just making my dreams a reality really making it a reality now not just doing it half-heartedly just really just going for it um, and you know you have to be uncomfortable to be comfortable and that means just doing things that feels right to you um, so yeah so I'm literally just outside now just taking in the fresh air this will be our last day today like well where we've got a full we've got a long day today because we'll be leaving probably um because check-in's always like two hours before i think um so yeah we'll probably be leaving about midnight to get like check-in and stuff like that and then obviously we'll go to casablanca um from banju um, and then from Casablanca to the UK so so yeah so I'm like yeah yeah and even um, 
I need to check like our times actually because I don't even know. You know when you're just so relaxed, you just I don't even want to go back. <laughs> but um but I'm excited to go back and just make the changes and just hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. That's just my mentality now. I'm just working towards coming back here. That's 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 all I want, you know? That's all me and Kenna wants for us and our baby and our lives and our futures and just to make something of ourselves like coming to Africa especially people definitely try to fear us and say you know if you come here you're gonna you know it's not even people it's just certain actions and that's another thing when people if people say something to you some of some people might be saying out of spite as well and just to make because of their fears do you know what I mean but just you have to do what is right in your gut and I am so happy and blessed I've come here I feel so so safe coming here as a pregnant woman as I said I've never been pregnant before I'm here and it's been beautiful don't get me wrong I've had like maybe two moments where I felt dizzy and I'm gonna be so honest um, but I want to talk about that in another video like flying while pregnant and I want to make that when I get back to London <clears throat> I can write all the points and stuff like that but um but yeah but apart from that I am really really happy just to be in the Gambia the smiling coast of Africa um so it might not look like that right now but I'm kind of a bit so tired <laughs> um I've had I've been in and out of sleep um just because I've been waking up and I've been waking up here anyway just to go to toilet because it's hot as well um but i would say the last few days i've had a much more comfortable sleep which is good so so yeah so guys we're gonna probably record some bits and bobs today i'm not too sure today we've got a few stuff to do but um it's just gonna be a chill day because as i said we're leaving this evening so we have to just make sure that we are packed so yeah i think we're gonna have breakfast soon um chill out for a minute and then yeah just start the day but just always remember that you can do whatever you put your mind to um you literally just have to keep reminding yourself just keep reminding yourself you know so yeah anyways guys blessings always and we'll see you soon Beach everywhere. Wow. Hello. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Jungle Beach. Yeah. How are you? Alrighty. I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Oh good. So this is Thank the So you. where's the jungle? The Toilet. jungle. Yes. <laughs> beach called Jungle Beach. Wow. It's beautiful. Mmm. There. Really fine sun, right? Yeah, definitely. Have you noticed the sun is a lot more finer, softer, very soft. Beautiful couple there. Hmm. Let's get them on there. Get shanties on it. Why not? Ah, it's a really nice beach, wow. 
Wow. So this is the closest beach to Sangyang? Well, no, this is one of the beaches in Sangyang. As you can see, it's continuous oh, coastline. Yeah. Do you remember what I was saying to you before? You could see, you see where it ends in the water there, that peninsula. Yeah. That's what you're seeing from our house in turntable. Okay. So it's just one continuous. It's just one continuous. On on. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. It just keeps going. Going, going on and on and on. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Quad bikes. <laughs> this is the uh, bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the bike. Yes. For sure. It does get better this. What is the weather in UK now? Oh, damn, like great. Of course. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is absolutely beautiful. Oh wow. Oh, exactly. There you go, Shanties. Beautiful couple, H and Patrice. Beaches are very different, yeah. Wow. The sand down that way is coarser. Yeah, it's really soft. The coast might be all the same, but it's not. Yeah. Beautiful. So cool. Wow, this is Frank. one of the amazing lodge with traditional roundhouses. Traditional roundhouses, and this is the walk. This is a show walk, perfect show walk. Natural, natural flooring all the way down to the beach. As you can see over across there, it's a beautiful coast which we're going to walk down to. So follow us. Follow us for sure, right, Shan? Mm. Uh, it's a restaurant. That's what that sign says. You look good, Shan. <laughs> Ooh, watch your step, because yeah. I'm not watching my step. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. They went this way, I can hear them. Yeah, I can hear the voice. This is wow. It is really cool in there too. Oh wow. How you doing? You are. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is a swinging bar. <laughs> yes, the swinging bar. Zoomed in. Let me zoom out. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And this is it's. You want one of those? It's beautiful bar. Still getting re getting done more of it. Oh, it's, a, it's a nice little shower there. Shanties, and this is the bar. Nice. I forgot what tree that is. Similar to a coconut tree, but it's not exactly a coconut tree. What is it? It's like a coconut tree, but it's not a coconut tree. It's a different fruit. I'm not too sure what it is. It's called an African fan tree, I think. Yeah, African fan tree. Uh, they got this in Jamaica. This tree. Come here. And this is the walk down to the beach. This is a nice African lodge with roundhouses. Look at the beach. The beach is absolutely amazing. Look at all these fruits on this tree, Shan. Look at these fruits. 
What fruits are these? Shan, is this the tallow? Is this the tallow? I have no idea what it is. It's tough though. That's kiwi. Is it? Yeah, it's, you feel it. Oh, it looks like it. It feels like kiwi. It's too tough to be a kiwi, man. Kiwi's quite hard. Africa. Africa, where they told us the land of flies, the land of big, big kids. Where is it? Oh. Where is the big, big kids? Africa, what more do you want? Uh -huh. What more do you want? You've got the whole stretch of the coastline. This coastline it will take you at least four to five hours to drive over the coastline. It'll, it'll take days if you're walking. This is the Gambia. Africa, sand, sea, and no stress whatsoever. Beautiful, beautiful Africa, the motherland. Love. Hey guys, so we are just at the beach, Menasu Beach. We are chilling, and it is beautiful here. We're just like underneath a shelter. Um, yeah. Nemesu Beach and it is beautiful. Beautiful. Like look, 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 look guys. Look how this looks clear. This is a really long coastline as well.